Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be to us the word. Glory be to Ahia. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. And um, I hope you had a beautiful weekend and that you stayed safe and that you made sure that you opened your mouth. And told others about Jesus Christ, right? Hallelujah. We got to preach the gospel. We're living in the last days. Today, we're still in the book of Daniel. We're on chapter 10. Daniel's vision beside the Tigris River. But before we begin our reading, we know that we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Before we go into our prayer, I want to know. Have you guys laid down your life and received Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Nobody else died for our sins. Only Jesus. Not only that, you should be reading God's word daily, preferably the King James Version, going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth. And if you don't have that personal relationship with him, you need to cry out to him till you hear from him. Don't stop crying out to you till you hear from him because he knows your heart. He knows your heart. He'll know when you're sincere, you're in sincerity and truth, and he will answer you. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. He'll teach me. He's continuously teaching me. He taught me and he continuously teaching me. We don't know it all. We will learn in time, right? He's always perfecting that in us. So we got to go through what we got to go through. But we must continue to read his word daily and live a life of daily repentance because the flesh is always warring with the spirit. We live in these fleshly bodies right now. So until we receive our incorruptible body, you understand what I'm saying? Until we got that, ooh, that beautiful body, we... You know, a glorious body. Right now, we're, we're in these uh, fleshly bodies, and it will cause you to sin. So we want to make sure we don't live in, we're not living a life of sin. So continuously be in repentance every day. Crawl to the Father, and don't sin on purpose. That we don't do, right? Okay, with that being said, I hope you all, if you haven't given your life to Christ, I hope that you do, right? Before we begin our reading, I always tell you the truth because I love you all, and Father God loves you more. Let us say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. And Father, thank you for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed, amen. Let's go into our reading. Hallelujah. Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 10. Daniel's vision beside the Tigris River. In the third year, Cyrus, the king of Persia, a message came to Daniel from God, and it was explained in a vision. The message was about a horrible war, and it was true. Daniel wrote, For three weeks I was in sorrow. I ate no fancy food or meat. I drank no wine, and I put no olive oil on my face or hair. Then, on the 24th day of the first month, I was standing on the banks of the great Tigris River. When I looked up and saw someone dressed in linen and wearing a solid gold belt, his body was like a precious stone, his face was light like lightning, his eyes like flaming fires, his arms and legs like polished bronze, and his voice like the roar of a crowd. Although the people who were with me did not see the vision, they became so frightened that they scattered and hid. Only I saw this great vision. I became weak and pale, and at the sound of his voice, I fell face down in a deep sleep. He raised me to my hands and knees and then said, Daniel, your God thinks highly of you, and uh, he has sent me. So stand up and pay close attention. I stood trembling while the angel said, Daniel, don't be afraid. God has listened to your prayers since the first day you humbly asked for understanding, and he has sent me here. But the guardian angel of Persia opposed me for 21 days. Then Michael, who was one of the strongest guardian angels, came to rescue me from the kings of Persia. Now I have come here to give you another vision about what will happen to your people in the future. While this angel was speaking to me, I stared at the ground, speechless. Then he appeared in human form and touched my lips. I said, Sir, this vision has brought me great pain and has drained my strength. I am merely your servant. How can I possibly speak with someone so powerful when I am almost too weak to get my breath? 
the angel touched me a second time and said, Don't be frightened. God thinks highly of you, and he intends this for your good. So be brave and strong. At this I regained my strength and replied, Please speak. You have already made me feel much better. Then the angel said, Now do you understand why I have come? Soon I must leave to fight against the guardian angel of Persia. Then after I have defeated him, the guardian angel of Greece will attack me. I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. But first you must realize that no one except Michael, the guardian angel of Israel, is on my side. You also need to know that I protected and helped Darius the Mede in his first year as king. Well, God's willing, tomorrow we come back to chapter 11 in the book of Daniel, the angel's message to Daniel. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. So if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day who you're going to serve. You can't serve two masters. Okay? I, all, I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. This is not something for discussion or debate. This is something we almost do. So please do it. Please do it. Please do it, y'all. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. If you want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you must forgive your fellow man. I don't care who he or she is or what he or she has done. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.